why Jinbei will be the first straw hat that will die at the end of the Wano arc. Yes, I know that's a bit too much to take in and I know he just came back from the Whole Cake Island and there has been way too many signs of Jinbei joining the crew, right? Some of the connections that I, I have been seeing, like I personally believe there is a 70 to 80% chance of Jinbei dying in the Wano arc unfortunately. Now if you guys are new to the channel make sure to drop a like subscribe um, for future content future One Piece and any anime content make sure to um, support the channel and yeah let's just jump back to the theory yeah. So the character I'm going to reference Jinbei to is going to be Ace. When we first met Jinbei we saw Jinbei with Ace in the cell at Impel Down all the way down at level 6 right. Now Ever since that moment, I should have knew, Oda does not do anything for no reason. Why would Jinbei be introduced with Ace? So surely, right, there needs to be some sort of connection with Ace and Jinbei. And I have found three really crazy connections that makes me believe that Jinbei will die at the end of the arc. It's, oh my god, the more I speak about it, the more... Like, this honestly blew my mind when I first connected everything together. So let me just quickly share it with you. Now, the first thing I saw is when Jinbei came back from Whole Cake Island and Luffy decided to make a toast for Jinbei. Now, do you guys remember back uh, in the Luffy flashback? After Marine Fort at the post-war arc, Luffy, Ace, Sabo, they all made a toast together with sake cups um, to confirm their brotherhood. Am I not wrong? So that's the first connection I see with Jinbei because when Jinbei came back, Luffy wanted to make a toast with Jinbei and they actually never made that toast because Luffy just wanted to go and beat Kaido first and then make the toast with Jinbei. Even though they didn't make the toast, there still is the connection with the sake cups, right? One made the toast and the other didn't. I know the conclusion is not the same, but that's the connection. That's all I'm going to say. That's the first connection. Now, the next connection is when Ace, before he died, he got freed. So Luffy was trying to free Ace and he succeeded, right? So that's the second connection I can think of. Ace actually getting freed. He escaped from death. Okay, when he first escaped, we all thought, yes, yes, Ace, he's not going to die. But no, no, Akainu happened, that guy's too strong, boom. Ace sacrificed his own life to save Luffy. That's what happened at the end. And that was honestly one of the worst things that could happen. And honestly, I think the same thing would happen to Jinbei because Jinbei was at Big Mom's Island, the Whole Cake Island by himself. And honestly, if you ask me, what are the chances of someone like Jinbei escaping a Yonko from her own territory, like, honestly, I would say the chances are extremely low, but he still did it, yeah? Like, he still showed up at Wano, meaning that he had escaped from Big Mom. So you guys can see, yeah? Both Ace and Jinbei, they had escaped a potential death sentence or a death situation. So that's my second point. And the last point guarantees almost guarantees me to believe that Jinbei will die. Luffy told Ace when they were kids, don't you ever die after Sabo died or thought he died. Luffy told Ace, don't you ever die. And Ace unfortunately died. And you know what's crazy, yeah? Luffy told Jinbei almost the exact same thing before leaving the Whole Cake Island. He told Jinbei, no matter what happens, don't you dare die and meet us at Wano. You guys not see the connection. This is absolutely mind-blowing. Like, the dots are connecting. I reckon something is going to happen extremely similar. Ace sacrificed himself for Luffy and I reckon Luffy will be in another situation where he is about to die and Jinbei this time he will be the one to sacrifice himself for Luffy and unfortunately he will he will die. Now I hope I'm not correct because Jinbei is someone I have grown to love. There has been so many good moments with Jinbei like how he gave Luffy his blood, how he stood up to Big Mom. Jinbei is one of the best characters in the whole show but all of these connections I'm connecting I'm connecting with Ace like we first saw Jinbei with Ace and after connecting these three you know correlations of scenes it has to be like to me there's a very very high chance of Jinbei dying Jinbei dying will be extremely sad I will most definitely cry over this like I'm just too emotional when it comes to One Piece characters but I reckon this is also 
good for the story of One Piece if a Straw Hat dies. I'm really interested to see how Luffy will be handling another loss of not, not a brother this time, but a companion, a crewmate and a friend. I would love to see because when, when Jinbei came back, Luffy and the whole crew were so, so happy. And I don't know, that toast that Luffy kind of declined when he's like, let's beat Kaido first and then we'll make the toast for Jinbei. I don't know if that is foreshadowing something. Is that foreshadowing that the toast will never happen? That's all I have to say. Let me know what you guys think. Personally, I think there's a very, very high chance of Jinbei dying this arc. I hope I'm wrong. I really do, but... I almost truly believe it. If you guys enjoyed this theory, make sure to give me a big, big like. Subscribe as well because we will be posting a lot more One Piece related content. And stay tuned for more videos. Now I'll see you soon. Take care now. Bye.